What are your options if your golf ball finishes in a penalty area? Today we're meeting up with PGA Rules Professional David Rishworth to find out. So this one's fairly simple because it's on grass and we're probably going to play yep, it. Yep. But if we go into the actual penalty area here, I okay. can still play it from here. You can still play it, yep. There's no problem there. And I am actually allowed to ground my club you as well. You can ground your club. Yes, that's right. And you can move anything, lo uh, anything loose again. But uh, here, obviously, we've got lots of stones. So presumably, because they are part of the penalty area, they are not classed as like objects that you can move anything anything loose anything loose you can you can move okay perfect so if i went to hit this i would be a little bit worried about hitting this stick here yep yeah, i can see that but the good news is it's a movable obstruction we can lift it out and you can play play the shot perfect so definitely a few ways there that you can make your shot a bit easier this scenario here is definitely not <laughs> a very nice one. I'd be pretty upset if my ball ended up here. So this ball is embedded, but it's inside the penalty area. So would I get embedded ball relief in that situation? Unfortunately, you wouldn't. Uh, there's no relief for an embedded ball in a, in a penalty area. You can, your option is you can still play it, and if you, but if you don't fancy playing it, you would have to go back under the penalty area option yeah with it with a penalty stroke i don't think i fancy this one so can i just drop out sideways no because this is a this is what they call a yellow penalty area we've two we've two options here with a ye yellow penalty area we can go back to where you last played the shot from under stroke and distance or we can just estimate where the ball last crossed the penalty area line and just go back as far far back as you want yeah, I don't fancy playing this shot again, so I think I'm gonna no. okay. go back yeah. and Yeah, so you can just pick your ball up. Do I need to mark this before I can No, it because we're not replacing it. And I can clean it. Yeah, you can certainly clean it. Thank goodness for that. As I said, you will have to estimate where you, where you think it crossed, then put a tee peg down for reference point. So I think the last place it crossed would be about here. Okay. So I put that directly in line Correct. with these yep. sticks. That's good. And then as long as we're playing back over the penalty area, that's, uh, that's all we need, need to do. And you can come back as far back as you want. You can drop it as near to the tee peg as you want, or you can come back straight back on line with the flag. Okay. And then once you've decided that, you just put a tee peg down so I'm going to go back here where it's a bit flatter. Correct, yeah. Put your tee peg down and then you can drop the ball or another ball within a club length. Each side? Each side, yeah. So for demonstration points, shall I just mark that out? Yeah. So I could take the longest club in my bag that's you not can, a putter. With the head cover off and then uh, that's it. Put a tee peg down there and you can go the other side and then you decide which which club length you want to drop in. So any ball like in that radius Correct. is then in play? Absolutely. I need to drop from knee height. <laughs> knee height, the ball has to be dropped in the club length and stay in, in the club length. You dropped it in that club length, did you? Yep. Right, okay, well that's fine then. Yep, that's in play. So if it rolls out, I just redrop. You redrop it. If it rolls out again, you would place where it last crossed the, or last uh, Where it the last ground. landed, yeah, perfect. Yep. 